Okay, so this is going to be uh, a tutorial for the finale of Battle of the Birds. So I'm going to enter through award ceremony, but normally what happens is that you get the award ceremony timepiece, then you come down here and talk to this phone, and then it enables the uh, final basement level to be uh, unlocked, and it'll be this level here that you actually go to, but after you beat it, it this is the level you go to, so this is where we're going. Uh, and I'll need to quickly de-equip Scooter, because we're not using that right now. So you're just going to want to roll out. It's pretty much the same thing as, the, as uh, the first time you did this for now. Go up here. Do that jump. No thing to go fast now, so just do this jump. And snipe this. I wish I'm not. Open this elevator. And then we just chill for a little bit. I got your finger gun. Alright, here we go. We're gonna check out the basement. Uh, so you can't really skip this. Some people get frame drops here. Um, not much you can... You can you can move your camera like slightly outside and move this like this way. Probably minimizes your frame drops. Because you render less of the cutscene. Right here. Yeah, right right here is a good area to put your camera for getting frame drops. Otherwise, just kind of watch it. Then get ready to go once you see the black. And we're going to roll out. We're just going to jump this way. Uh, don't sprint jump because you won't have enough height. So just go up here. Climb up this thing. Slide down here. So this next part is only possible on the release patch of the game. Uh, don't don't climb that wall. Climb the side wall. You don't need to jump on that, but it's a little bit faster coming from the other side. So. What we're going to do here is we're going to jump up here. We're going to do this. We're going to come up here. This is where this defers from uh, the release patch of the game. So um, on the current patch, you can only go up here. Right. This is where you can go. But, on the release patch of the game, which most people prefer to speedrun on because you can get a lot of fat time shapes, uh, you can come over here, and this is what we do because it's so fast. And you come over here, and past that invisible wall, there's actually these rafters, and you're going to want to land on this rafter that's, you know, re reachable from that uh, height. So, then you're going to want to double jump and raise two levels, and then jump over on top of this bit right here and you'll notice that's actually like the last part of this section that we're, we're doing so what you're gonna do here is line yourself up with the midway between the light part and the dark part and then jump down and try to trigger the loading zone there we go so it's it's more on the dark side than it is in the middle so you want to lean towards the dark side and that'll trigger a loading zone that gets us to this last part so uh, make sure you do that just climb these walls Go up here, roll out. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're just about done here. Uh, instead of doing any platforming, all you do is just come down this hallway and land on top of here, and then jump up here. Don't miss the jump. Um, you can slide down the wall if it helps. And then just go up here, go down here, and we're already there. Uh, that's it. Um, now we have the boss fight. So there's actually tech for this that we recently, very, very recently found. Only like a few days within the making of this video. So um, what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna I'm gonna post a link to this in the description of the video. But um, it's called Groove Skip. Uh, I can't do it here because this is the conductor fight, uh, and you actually need it to be DJ Grooves because it's a lot harder otherwise. But uh, yeah, actually I got it there. Uh, let me see if I can get the out of bounds here. At least show you what out of bounds looks like. It's a little, it's a lot more finicky on uh, the conductor stage than it is on DJ Group. Okay, so yeah, so you can crawl under the elevator, right? And you can do this, and you can get up here. And what you do is you need the scooter. Um, you equip the scooter, and you get an SDJ, but with the scooter. So that's what it looks like. That's the speed that you get. You can kind of see how fast I went there. It, this trick is really hard to do. I do not recommend it. anyone does this, but people trying to be competitive for world record. Um, right now, this isn't in the route. 
Um, but it will be soon, I'm sure. Uh, I'll probably be attempting it soon. So, uh, don't go for it if you're just starting out, but if you want to be competitive for world record, you will probably need to learn how to do this at some point. Uh, I'll post a separate tutorial for it, um, in the description like I mentioned. So. Anyways, we're just going to start the boss fight. There's also another way to do this, um, quick kill that I'll also put in the description. It's easier and you can do it during the boss fight. Uh, it involves like diving, uh, with, uh, you don't actually need any badges for it. It's about like a it's about a minute time save the dj groove skip that i mentioned was about two and a half minutes of time save so um but we're just gonna do the boss fight and i'll post a link to all of the quick kill uh setups later so this is the easiest to do if you're just starting out um is just to do like an optimal boss fight so what you do is you take me you make good use of your potions and your movement options so right here when he comes down and generally when he just jumps at you and this applies for any boss. They have a hitbox when they land. So what you do is you do a short, very short jump, and you can actually avoid the hitbox, like you, like you, you might have seen I did there, and I'll show you again in a little bit. It'll happen again. So, and then you can just like jump over the hitbox and hit him, and it's a lot faster than like doing the jump dive. Yeah. Yeah. You see right here, I do a short hop and then do it, and that's a lot faster than doing like the jump dive uh, homing attack. And then you just keep doing these optimal. This is this for this uh, thing. You want to use a potion because you don't want to have to do the jump dive. For this one, also use a potion. Don't hesitate. You'll learn the patterns as you play the game. Again, use potion. Don't you won't have ice hat, so don't worry about pulling that out in the middle of the fight. There we go. This is this is all the same for the DJ Groove's boss fight, which you'll be more likely to do. Uh, in a speed run, just because of the way getting stuff works for it, so um, just be aware of that. Nothing about the fights is different, um, except for the setups that we use for the quick kills. Go. Just jump over these. These ones you want to start at the edge of the screen so that you can avoid them best. Just walk straight across the screen and then come and hit them. And then just wait for all five of these to drop. You can sit in the corner charging your potion. There we go. You want to be slight. You want to be like around this area if you want to hit him with the potion, because otherwise it'll go past him. So make sure you're in this little circle. And then here is the phase before the second to last phase, so what you're going to do is stand in the center and spam whatever button you use to sit on the chair and then just skip all the text and head to the outside of the stage as soon as that cutscene ends. That'll trigger the second to last phase. And then just get ready to hit him as he jumps down. You can use a potion, uh, the homing potions work pretty well. You want to use a potion for this too so you can get in without having to use homing attack. This one, do another short hop. Yeah, I did it there. there Make sure you use Sprint Hat after that so you can catch him whenever he does that. And DJ Grooves. Normally the Conductor is the one that helps you out, but when you're doing the Conductor fight, it's DJ Grooves that helps you out. You don't really have to worry about time for this boss fight. As long as you just don't mess up majorly, you won't run out of time. There we go, and that should be it. So then come over to the left side of the stage and you can just get ready to defuse the bomb. There we go. And then that starts the last phase of the fight. So this part is very easy except for the owls. So as long as you position yourself well, you won't get hit by these guys. For this one, if you need to use homing attack, that's fine, because it makes it um, a lot easier to avoid the owls. You want to make sure you avoid those owls, because that just loses a bunch of time if you get hit. He does his most basic attack patterns for this last part, so you can expect very simple attacks. There we go, and that's it.
So that's uh, DBS Basement. And like I said, I'll post tutorials for the quick kills uh, in the description of the video uh, when I get around to them. So, yeah. There we go. DBS Basement. <laughs>